Okay, in this segment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go show you, I'm going to show you how to uh, make 3D marks. Now, in previous videos, uh, we went ahead and learned how to use the install wizard, how to open the software, creating shapes and text, importing vectors, setting the parameters, uh, more laser parameter settings and hatching, and we actually made a mark. In this segment, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a mark in 3D. So I've still got my logo here from previous videos, and I've still got the other images on my screen from the previous videos. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead, uh, because I'm going to do it in 3D, and I want to I simplify how we talk about this, I'm going to go ahead and combine my, uh, if you remember from previous videos, I had my radian and the laser system separated so I could mark them separately. I could mark the radian in a dark mark and the laser systems in a white mark. And as such, they're separated over here uh, in my a list of uh, various uh, markings that I have uh, available to do on my screen here. I'm going to go up to Edit. I'm going to hit Combine. So now I've got one element. It makes it a little bit easier when I'm doing 3D because if otherwise I would have to go and set my 3D parameters for each one of these separate elements. But in this case now I've combined it. You notice on the screen over here on the left, it's actually one now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and maneuver this a little bit so you can see a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm going to mark, uh, I'm going to set this up for a 3D mark. So I go up here to this icon, my 3D icon, and notice the screen changes. And I have lost part of my screen to my second screen. I'll bring that over. Okay, there it is. Um, the first thing, when I open my 3D, this should pop, this screen should pop up. It should be on your right side. It was on my other display, but it's, it's back now. Um, I'm going to mark on a cylinder. I'm going to show you how to mark on a cylinder. So that I notice that when I open this up, I have a number of options available to me. I have plane, I have cylinder, cone, uh, ball, which is a sphere, or any, which is I can manipulate uh, or bring in uh, custom surface files or custom STL files. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, act like I'm going to uh, mark on a cylinder, which would be typical of like a Yeti tumbler or something like that. Um, there's a probably more, there are tapers, but in any case, you can treat them as cylinders uh, for the sake of this discussion. I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit cylinder. I'm going to say it's a, a diameter of 50 millimeters. And I've got a focal length here that um, I'm asked to select. And basically what that is, it's actually the uh, base focus of the laser that I have uh, in front of me. And in this case, it's 300. Um, so you need to go and look at the laser head that you have on your laser head, uh, whether it's the desktop mini or any of our lasers, open frame, on the side of the laser scan head or the Galvo or the scanner, it's going to have three different numbers there. Uh, it, one of them is the base parameter, and uh, that one is, uh, in this case, it's 300 millimeters. And so I'm going to go ahead and apply, and notice that when I do that now, uh, I can go ahead and grab that image with my left mouse button and notice that my image is uh, now curved and it's actually set up to mark on a curve, um, which is kind of cool. First time you've seen that. Notice my other images on my screen are not like that because they're set up for 2D. But now I can mark on a curve in 3D um, and I can mark over that curve without having to do anything other than making sure that my part is centered at the right, uh, at the right focus point and um, it would be ready to go. If I had a Yeti tumbler or a something of that 50 millimeter diameter properly positioned in my laser, uh, right now I would be able to mark this mark uh, by setting my part in position. I could hit mark by going down to mark and hit go, and it would actually laser over that surface without having to move the part. Pretty cool, huh?